girl life really has been life in but first of all welcome back to my channel it is games with viv here if you're new why is it taking this long for us to connect why don't you just click that subscribe button right now because you know you're gonna want to stay for the rest of this and if you're not welcome back it's a welcome back for me it's been over three weeks since my beautiful face has graced your screens but honestly, we will chit chat, go through this three day split workout and I'm just gonna explain to you, have a little catch up on what's been happening lately. And first of all, we're gonna talk about this hit workout. So I know I touched briefly on my last video. I have had to revise my goals and revise the amount of time I'm spending in the gym these days because sis, when I tell you life has been lifing, I barely have a minute to breathe with work, editing and the little social life that I do have, it's been painful. So. To avoid the stress, I've had to eliminate and sacrifice a few things. Now, I enjoy my five days in the gym, but realistically, I might want to be a bodybuilder. What are my actual goals? And I've had to accept the fact that nowadays that I don't play basketball anymore, I'm training for aesthetics. I want to look good. I want to feel good and stay healthy and keep my body moving. So three days for me personally is enough to be in the gym as it allows me two extra days to focus on editing these videos and have a strategy as far as my content and be consistent because it is something that I do want to in the long run focus on so therefore having two days that I can edit these long form videos for YouTube and another day for your TikTok to make some posts in advance whatever whatever but yeah so three days where I do the first day is a hit workout 45 minutes 30 minutes on the Stairmaster second day is my lower or upper body day whichever I feel or whichever the gym feels because sometimes it's a bit busy so i want to be in and out so therefore an upper body day might make sense on a tuesday whereas wednesday we can go and take our time but talking about taking our time my rotor at work is constantly changing so it's hard to be consistent and i will be honest with you i haven't been as consistent as, as i would have liked to be in the gym most weeks i might make it to the gym three times minimum some weeks like this week for example where i start work at 6 30 i'm usually in the gym at these times i'm not able to work out that week i have tried working out out of work because i know some of you be like ah oh, why don't you go after work like loads of people go to the gym after work but excuse me have you ever been in the gym at 5 p.m or 6 p.m or 7 p.m now i'm a person that likes my early nights so if i'm working out at five i can't even say you're working out at 5 p.m because of how busy the gyms are after 4 30 for me personally the gym is not seeing me i have tried incorporating some home workouts i.e pilates on youtube or whatever but it's just not the same and i just have to accept that for now this will be my life that some weeks i might only be able to work out twice i've tried working out during my lunch hour but it's, it's just not worth it and if it's just for aesthetics i can maintain that and also my diet is something that i've been trying to clean up because now that it's colder it's easier to eat more and want to snack more on the comfort foods and you just gotta cut that out and just the discipline levels that i currently have had have eh, declined I will tell i'll be honest with you it has declined and i'm trying to pick it up i'm trying to stay motivated but because oh, there's just so many so many external factors that are challenging but just know even if you are on the same boat you're trying to achieve your goals but there's some obstacles that you're having to do just think one day at a time whatever you're doing is better than not doing anything at all and it's basically trying to stay in your own lane without comparing yourself to others which i am guilty of which lately it's been affecting me as you can see if you follow me on social media or anything you'll notice usually i'm in sports bras and shorts or whatever i have been wearing t-shirts which is not usually it's not a bad thing for me maybe i'm just growing but i've found myself leaning towards hoodies leaning towards more shirts to be more covered up because i'm a bit self-conscious about my body which seems a bit stupid but if you know you know like you know so something i'm working on at the moment and then also i'm trying to complete my digital marketing course so i have quite a lot on my plate right now which is ex which is the reason why my videos have been delayed i even had to ban myself from recording videos because i have so much footage on my camera that i'm telling myself why do i keep recording if i'm not gonna edit it and post it out there so for the past week or so i haven't filmed anything in the gym i've been recycling um content for tiktok and instagram because that that you can recycle content for but for youtube i really wanted to be organic i wanted to actually be open share with you guys because ultimately 
I'm in your screen, you're getting to know me, and it's only right I be open with you and not sell you on false advertisement of I'm constantly in the gym, I'm constantly motivated, I'm constantly, cause nah, girl, we all go through it. Body dysmorphia, I go through it. Eating, it's, it's hard, it's hard. But you just have to make sure you have people around you that are supporting and understanding of your, whatever stage you are on your journey. And I have to say, I am thankful of that. And I'm able to say no. If there's something like, oh, let's go out. I'm like, no, that's not personally right now. This is not where I'm at. But they respect that. And then we do other activities where there's not so much drinking or it's more like PG fun, if you, if you will, PG fun. So that is one side as to why I've been a little bit MIA. Work has picked up as well because I'm in charge of like the social media aspect of it. So I have a lot more editing and filming to do at work. I have more clients now, which takes up a lot of my time at work. Whereas before I used to have time in between where I could edit my content and then all I'd have to do is voice over at home. Right now, even yesterday I had work. I did not sit down until the last hour of my shift. I was busy, even in my break. I wanted to work out, but I had to prioritize what do I need to get done now in order that's going to benefit me in the long run. And I had to finish my content or my digital marketing coursework because that's something I've been putting off for a while. I'm like 30, like I've got 30% left, so it is doable and I just have to focus and some of them take about a couple hours to do. So I had to sacrifice working out in order to finish my digital marketing course. And that's the thing that I have noticed. There's a lot more sacrifices to make. But I'm just hoping in the long run, it all pays off. But side note, look at this, this fit right here. It was giving Blue Power Ranger, body. I was, I was in my element and you know, gave me a little strength to do a couple pull-ups. And yeah, this was hard, but look at the muscles coming through. So at the moment, I'm trying to balance three days. Hopefully it goes well. I'll keep you all posted. You can follow my journey on social media as well, on my TikTok and my Instagram. I will attach that through, but baby, we will be back. You know that sound that I took over a year off and cut you bitches some slack. Tell a friend to tell. This is going to be me. In nine months time, you'll see a whole different person. So I am just thankful for all of you that have stayed, continued watching my channel and continued engaging, reaching out on social media. It honestly means a lot to me. And honestly, I will stay consistent. I will post as much as I can and when I can. But I just wanted to be real with you all that I'm not forcing anything here. I'm just gonna be raw and honest with you. If there's something that's gonna happen, best believe you're gonna know about it. But yeah, and that's just to give you a real life view of a fitness journey. It's not always gonna go right. You're not always gonna be motivated. You're not always gonna want to work out. And especially in the winter time, that's when you know that's the real grind in the winter because a lot of people stop working out in the winter. It's dark early. It is cold. No one wants to be going out to the gym at 6 a.m. Look at how empty it is. This is where you know who really wants it because you'll see who's turning up day in, day out. But honestly, yeah, stay posted. I'm going to have a video next week. I'm going to Costco with my friend and I've been wanting to post this video for a while, but we're doing another Costco run. So keep a lookout for that and turn on the notifications. But again, honestly, thank you everyone for the support you have shown to my channel and continue to support, even though I haven't been as consistent as I like, but I recently turned 24. So new age, new accomplishments, new goals pending just putting it out to the universe and yeah honestly wanted to post a video just to give you a little update on what's been going on where i've been what i've been doing and what more you can expect from me from next year and i'll soon let you all know about the challenges that i will be running and some giveaways that i've been thinking to do for everyone that supported the channels and also my social media so keep an eye out for that across all my social media so instagram and tiktok mostly and if you found this video helpful and you're in a similar situation, just know, girl, you are not alone. Honestly, you're not alone. So leave a comment down below if you've been going through a similar situation or send this to someone that you know has been going through a situation similar to me where your motivation levels have dropped and you're just trying to pick yourself back up and keep pushing. But for now, this is all I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you on the next one. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.